If you like the idea of using a Lynx distributor by Victron, but you don't want to spend the money, you can build one out of a Lynx Power In for less money. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Well, I am working on the 12 volt power system, my off-grid power system for my cargo camper. And one of the things I'm using is some Victron Energy Lynx Power Ins, and I'm turning them into fused bus bars. This is really cool. Let me show you what I'm doing. And I gotta give a shout out to Nate at Explorus.life. I saw this on his channel. His channel is obviously much bigger than mine. And I said, that is exactly what I wanna do. So that's what I'm doing. Check it out. Okay guys, so this board is gonna be mounted into my trailer, but before I get it mounted up into the trailer, I am doing all my pre-wiring and everything. And so these are my Lynx power ins, and I'm basically using them as a fused bus bar for my uh, charger from Shore Power, two MPPT solar controllers, a DC to DC charge controller, off screen there is a Renogy 2000 watt inverter. I've got a little 12 volt panel right here. So basically I need to bring all of these in, fuse them, you know, bring them in, connect them to the battery and all that. And what I really like is I like these Lynx power ins for this. They are great bus bars, but they don't hold fuses. Now, Victron also makes the Lynx distributor but it has some bells and whistles and lights and things, things that I just don't need. And so because I don't need them, uh, it doesn't really make sense to spend the money on that functionality when I can just add some bolts, some nuts, some washers, and some fuses and turn these into exactly what I need. So here is the, the Lynx Power In. I've already taken the, uh, I've already loosened the screws. So I'm gonna take this off, okay. How this works is, this is the negative bus bar here and the positive bus bar here. And then you just, if you were connecting, these are perfect for connecting batteries or things that you don't need fused, right? Into, you know, into your system. So if you wanted to use a bus bar to connect batteries, uh, these are great for that. But if you wanna connect things that need a fuse, all you need to do is add some bolts make a few modifications and you're good to go. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take off this plastic wire retainer. And there are four bolts. All right, and then once that's removed, you are gonna add four of these. And I'm gonna put a parts list down below where you can pick up all this stuff. So right there, you just add those four bolts. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add four washers. Okay, and then this goes back on. Okay, so next we can put these back down. And what we're gonna need is we're gonna need four more washers. And four nuts. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten those down. And you don't wanna tighten them too hard because it's just plastic, but just make sure they're nice and snug.
Okay, so at this point in time, it is ready for wire and fuses. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you right here how we would work with this one. So this is actually going to be my little DC fuse panel here. I'm gonna use a 100 amp fuse because this panel is rated for 100 amps. I doubt I'm ever gonna draw anything near that, but I've got the wire, I've got the fuse, might as well wire it up for you know anything that it could take. So I'm gonna run four gauge wire from here to here. But what I'm gonna do is just to show you when you run the negative side, right, the negative side is gonna run from here right into here and it's just gonna connect. And then what you do is you drop this down and then this is how you work with the positive wire. So the positive wire will run up into here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen this. Remove the nut, the copper lock washer, and the washer. And I will drop the fuse down. Add the washer, add the copper lock washer, and the nut. And then if I had a wire made up, which I don't, but I'm gonna use this piece as an example here. This would go on top of there like that, right? And then I would add another washer, copper lock washer, and a nut. And then if I was going to do that, I would tighten that down. And then there you have it. You are now using the Lynx Power In as a fused bus bar. And what's really awesome about these is you can do up to four components in a single system. And guys, this takes up less space than two bus bars, a positive bus bar and a negative bus bar, and then fuses and everything else. This takes up less space, which is why I went to it. Also, guys, if you are if you're using components that handle heavy loads, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you buy a heavy duty bus bar. Those are not inexpensive. I really like companies like Blue Sea Systems for that because I, I, I trust the components. You don't wanna buy no name components because they might melt down and cause a fire, right? So when you're spending decent money on fuse blocks and bus bars and then all the wiring and termination, guys, it's a whole lot easier to just pick up a Lynx Power In and make a fused bus bar for yourself. So that's how you do it. I've got a lot more work to do on this panel, so I'm gonna get back to work. But guys, I highly recommend the Lynx Power In. So as I said, guys, I really, I really like the Lynx Power In. I'm gonna put a link down in the description below where you can pick up one of those, as well as the bolts, nuts, washers, and lock washers to do this project. Guys, it is cheaper to do it this way than it is to just buy the Lynx distributor, so you're gonna save yourself some money. Now, if you have all Victron components and you want the Lynx distributor, you want the, the lights that tell you when a fuse is blown and all that stuff, by all means, go ahead and buy that. Since this is going to be mounted under the bed of my cargo camper, I'm never gonna see the lights, so I figured I don't need the lights. And quite honestly, if something's not working, I'll just, take off two screws and check to see if I've got a blown fuse. I don't think I'm gonna have a blown fuse, most likely. I mean, everything's gonna be wired up correctly and that kind of thing. So, you know, occasionally, you know, after a certain amount of time, maybe a fuse will fail, but I don't think that I need the functionality of a Lynx distributor. I think this will work just fine. And guys, also, if you're just using regular fuses and regular bus bars, you wouldn't have any light indicators anyway. So, I really think this is the way to go because it saves a lot of space and it saves some money, especially with having to buy wire terminal lugs and, and all that stuff. So this is definitely an easier way to go. I really like it. Guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. We exist to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature and develop a conservation ethic. We wanna help you get you and your kids outside. If you have a camper or RV or van project or boat project where you are adding uh, 12 volt functionality so that you can run an inverter or solar panels or whatever. Uh, 
you know, we want to help you figure out that system so that you know what you're doing and build something that works for you. Uh, that's why I'm kind of sharing my journey here with our 12 volt and off grid power system for the cargo camper. So I hope you're enjoying this series. Guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos. And if you have any questions about what you saw, drop something in the comments below, or you can connect with me on my other social media. I'm on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, or X, or you can connect with me at my website at campoutside.com. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you outside. Thank mm -hmm. you.